Earlier this month, Pope Benedict, speaking to thousands of Catholic priests, again begged forgiveness for years of sexual abuse inside his church. For many, the conciliatory words do little to dull the pain. And of all the victim accounts, this one may be unmatched in its sordid detail and close connection to the church's highest ranks, as our chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross now reports. Until he was 17 years old, Raul Gonzalez thought the reason his father was never at home was because he worked for the CIA or some big oil company. My dad told my mom that he was a CIA agent. But it turned out the man Gonzalez calls his father worked for another organization no less secretive than the CIA, the Roman Catholic Church. Gonzalez says he is the son of this man, Father Marcial Maciel, a favorite of the Vatican for decades as the founder and leader of a prominent, financially prosperous and politically conservative Catholic order, the Legionaries of Christ, a man with a very secret double life. He always told my mom like he was a really busy man and he was always flying and on the trips on because his business of the, of the company. Gonzalez says he did not learn his father's real occupation until he saw him on the cover of a magazine in clerical garb, accused of sexually abusing young seminarians under his control for decades. I want justice for all the victims of sexual abuse. Today, lawyers for Gonzalez filed suit against the Legionaries of Christ alleging he too was a victim of sexual abuse at the hands of his own father who died two years ago. He is one of the many, many kids and others abused and deceived by Maciel. It was a deception worthy of the CIA. For 17 years, Gonzalez says he never saw the man he called father in clerical garb. This was Maciel on a trip to the beach in Colombia. Here in shorts on a hike in Colombia with Gonzalez's half brother Omar. It was on this trip, Gonzalez says, that the sexual abuse began. I was sleeping with him like a normal child that sleeps with his dad at seven years old. It was this, this abuse happened in the early morning. In his first television interview, provided to Nightline by investigative reporter Jason Berry, Gonzalez told how his father groomed him and his half-brother for sexual abuse. He always told us that how to kiss, how to kiss him because um, he was, we, that's the way we were going to learn how to kiss a girl when we grew up. It happened again when Gonzalez says his father arranged to meet him in London. The emotion still raw some 20 years later. I saw my dad, he took me on a, how you say, on a walk, he said, We got to the hotel, and um, he said, "Like, hey, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna take the, take down your pants, okay? Took my down my pants, and then he said he took down his pants." All the while, Maciel was growing in prominence inside the Catholic Church. His legionaries of Christ order spread around the world providing the church with hundreds of future priests. Maciel reportedly became close to Pope John Paul II, and Gonzalez provided this picture of him as a young man after a private mass celebrated by Pope John Paul II. I shaked his hand and I um, kissed his ring. I think this gives even more graphic proof of how, of what a pathological creature Maciel was, but more than that, I think it really underscores uh, how much the Vatican has been covering up. But Gonzalez says even after he realized who his father was from the magazine article and that there were others who claimed to have been sexually abused, he never confronted his father. My mom said, oh, is, this, is that you? And my, mom, my dad said, no, it's not me. Uh, and my mom said, yeah, it's you. We honest, to be honest, we were, we were like really afraid of what was going on when we saw that magazine. Nor, it seems, did anyone in the Catholic Church confront him until recently. 
even after other priests accused Father Maciel of sexual abuse against children, Pope John Paul II honored Maciel on his 50th year as a priest, calling him an efficacious guide to youth. Gonzalez says Maciel told him that Pope John Paul II was protecting him. My dad told my mom that when John Paul II dies, he was going to be in trouble. Under Pope Benedict, Father Maciel was finally ordered out of active life as a priest, and the Legionaries of Christ has now been put under Vatican control. Maciel died in 2008, never put on trial, and still a priest. I'm not going to die, I'm going to leave this world until I see the justice done. The Vatican had no response today to the lawsuit filed by Gonzalez, other than to repeat earlier statements that it acknowledged Maciel's daughter and allegations that there were other children. Church officials were in preliminary settlement talks with Gonzalez, but broke them off after he asked for $26 million for he and his half-brother Omar. Asked if that wasn't a lot of money, Gonzalez said, how much would you take to be raped and sodomized for so many years?